me es un alto honor presentarles a ustedes a un norteamericano de excelente conducta diplomática y diríamos que visionario del escenario que hoy vivimos con el restablecimiento de las relaciones diplomáticas entre Cuba y Estados Unidos. Gwen Smith, a quien todos conocen, que merece un aplauso. que cuando lo conocí hace muchos años allá en La Habana cuando se daban los primeros pasos bajo la administración del presidente Carter por restablecer una mejor relación entre dos pueblos vecinos muy cercas en geografía y muy distantes en lo político y lo diplomático Wayne Smith era de los hombres que creía que el milagro era posible y se hizo el milagro que no es otra cosa que estos primeros pasos en que dos gobiernos encontrados en la historia historia de amor y odio de confusión a veces y de momentos de productas improductivas tensiones que fueron a dar hasta agresiones injustas y enmerecidas. La Cuba revolucionaria que pasado medio siglo por fin encuentra que hay norteamericanos en la vida pública de este país que representan el pensamiento que por años en el batallar diario estuvo representado en la conducta de Gwen Smith. Palabras sobran. Los cubanos iniciamos una nueva carrera que terminada la batalla por la libertad de los cinco y resuelto el problema de la confrontación diplomática se inicia ahora con estas nuevas relaciones el camino de la lucha contra el embargo el bloqueo para los cubanos en busca no de relaciones que ya las tenemos sino de mejores relaciones que están por venir Hoy me cabe el honor entregarle esta placa de reconocimiento en nombre de la Alianza Martiana y de su presidente, Damián Díaz, a Gwen Smith. Un tributo que está encabezado por la bandera de Estados Unidos y la bandera de la estrella solitaria unidas sin odio ni rencores como lo dijera Martí con todos y por el bien de todos para Gwen Smith en reconocimiento ex jefe de la sección de intereses de Estados Unidos en Cuba por su dedicada labor en favor de las mejores relaciones entre los pueblos y gobiernos de Cuba y Estados Unidos. Alianza Martiana, Miami, Florida, primero de febrero del año de la reconciliación 2015 para ti Wayne una placa en nombre de todos los cubanos que te quieren y te reconocen bueno muchas gracias
todos ustedes. Uh, I was going to give my talk tonight in English, and if that's okay with you, uh, I will. Uh, I, I wanted to talk to you about uh, U.S.-Cuban relations. What? Okay. Like that? Is that better? Okay. To improve, to improve uh, relations. Uh, during the homenaje, I got up and said, I thought what we should do uh, was to establish diplomatic relations, remove Cuba uh, from the terrorist list, remove travel controls, and take a whole series of other steps to improve relations. And the next morning, the two governments did that. <laughs> Leading some people to think, wow, Wayne, re Wayne really has influence. You know? uh, and I may have contributed a bit to that because when asked about it, I said, well, they just listened to my speech. No, actually, unbeknownst to me and unbeknownst to almost anyone on the outside, uh, President Obama and uh, President Castro had been pursuing secret talks for almost a year uh, looking to improve relations. And they had, they had organized this uh, conference with the idea of using that to announce it. I just played it in their hands. But, but uh, some people did believe that it was just my speech. You know, good, good. Uh, anyway, we then moved ahead, uh, I say we, the U.S. and Cuba moved ahead, a delegation, a delegation led by Roberta Jacobson, uh, Assistant Secretary for Latin American Affairs, came to Cuba, uh, talked to a delegation led by Josefina Vidal. Josefina Vidal, uh, very, very competent and attractive lady leading some people to say this must indicate the two governments believe women can negotiate better. Well, maybe those two can. Anyway, uh, the delegations met. They discussed uh, various issues, but they didn't come to any agreements that we could see. And then uh, Raul Castro gave a talk at CELAC and some of the early press reports gave the impression that he had said we couldn't really have diplomatic relations until the U.S. lifted the embargo and uh, took Cuba off the terrorist list and a number of other things. That's not what he said, thank goodness. What he said was perfectly sensible. He said uh, we have taken we have established diplomatic relations. That is the first step to coming to grips with these other issues. Now we must go ahead and see to a lifting of the embargo uh, and so forth. But meanwhile, uh, we will have full diplomatic uh, relations. Good, that makes sense. Okay, we're gonna have diplomatic relations and we then move ahead. Now, it isn't going to be easy because he did say uh, that the United States, one of the things that we must do, the United States must give back the Guantanamo Naval Base. Now the U.S. is committed uh, to closing the naval prison at Guantanamo. Uh, it, President Obama is committed to that. It's not going to be easy, however, because there are prisoners there uh, who can't be, because of the opposition of the Congress, can't be simply transferred to a major security, a uh, maximum security prison in the United States. Uh, so what we will do with them remains to be seen. But hopefully we will find some way to solve that problem and we'll be able to close the naval prison. But we are not committed to returning the Guantanamo Naval Base. I don't know why, uh, frankly, uh, I'm an ex-Marine, 
And looking at it, I don't see that we need the Guantanamo Naval Base. But that's the way I see it. Uh, there may be people in the Pentagon who don't see it that way, who will have some influence uh, with the president, with the, with the government. So there's that. Uh, lifting the embargo will not be easy. The president is committed to that. He has said we must move to lift the embargo. But that requires an act of Congress. And that Congress is now controlled by the Republicans. And so it's going to be doubly difficult to lift the embargo. I don't think we'll be able to do it for the next two years. Then, assuming that the Republicans are not reelected, uh, that, uh, in other words, that uh, uh, a Democrat is elected to the presidency, uh, and we began to have, again, a Democratic Congress, it may, be, it may be possible. But it's just to say, there are a whole series of difficult issues uh, that even with goodwill on the part of the United States, and especially of the executive branch, are going to be difficult to resolve. And I don't think we'll be able to do it in two years' time. It's going to take much longer than that. But, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are on the way. <laughs> we are, our two governments are now engaged in diplomatic discussions. We are committed to improving relations and to solving these difficult problems one step at a time. And how much better that is than the last 53 years. Good Lord. And I think, meanwhile, uh, relations between the United States and Cuba will improve dramatically. Uh, and that uh, is really good news. Thank you very much. Thank you.